Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm continuing my series on 70s films and I will put a link to the playlist in the description below. And also, if you're, if you're on Letterboxd, I uh, have a link to my profile also in the description as well as a link to the list of movies that I'm watching. So if, you, if, you, if this is your first video, uh, you, can, you can look at the other movies, watch the other videos if you like. Uh, but this next one, I'm, I should say too that I'm watching these films in, in no particular order. These are all movies from the 70s, and I'm a big fan of the 70s just as a decade for film. And so I'm just kind of picking movies that come to mind. I'm also really not focusing too much on the more popular movies of the decade. Uh, you know, films like The Godfather and Jaws and Apocalypse Now, perhaps. Uh, but I'm trying to uh, really focus on maybe some hidden gems or movies that you may not have seen. Um, and so this next one is a Kino Lorber release, and it is one with a slipcover and some amazing artwork, and it's Clint Eastwood in the Iger Sanction. One of my favorites, I remember seeing this also, uh, you know, watching TV in the 70s too, so it's really uh, somewhat of a, um, a familiar movie to me. I've seen it many times. This is the Kino release, so you see you've got some extra features here also. And one of my favorite things also on this is that it has a slipcover. Uh, I wanted to point out before I, re I remove the slipcover that uh, one of the things I really like about Kino Lorber is it's very easy to find the date of the movie, which is right here. That's one of my favorite things because I'm always searching for that. Uh, I'm also going to um, read from the back of this. As I mentioned before, I'm really trying to preserve the first viewing of the movie if you haven't seen that before. I know how important that is. And so I'm just going to read what you would find on the back if you were reading the description of the movie anyway. So I don't think it's going to really spoil too much. This is a brand new 2K master from Clint Eastwood, the legendary director of Play Misty for Me, High Plains Drifter, Firefox, Gran Torino, and Sully comes this international espionage thriller set in the Swiss Alps. Jonathan Hemlock, which is Clint Eastwood, uh, is a retired professional uh, um, assassin who has adopted a calmer lifestyle with the pursuit of art collecting. When a close friend is murdered, Hemlock is suddenly forced out of retirement to hunt the deadly double agent that killed his comrade. The search takes him on a breathtaking journey up the Swiss Alps and a team of mountain climbers, one of which is in, one of which is in an unidentified target. Co-starring George Kennedy, who was in Thunderbolt and Lightfoot and many other movies, of course. The Iger Sanction features some of the most exciting mountain climbing sequences ever captured on film. Two of the film's best features are the terrific on-location photography by Frank Stanley, who did Magnum Force, and the hauntingly beautiful score by the great John Williams. <laughs> um, I really, uh, you know, watching these films over and over again, I'm starting to see some of the similarities and some of the reasons that I love these movies. And this happened to be produced, the executive producers were um, Zanuck and Brown, who did Jaws, of course, who were the producers on that. And uh, John Williams also involved in this, which I didn't really know, uh, but I love the musical score for this. It's just amazing. And uh, so, you know, great to see in the year that he started to, well, he was already working uh, with uh, Spielberg, of course, but in 1975 worked on this film and had just an amazing uh, soundtrack. So those are two of the things I like about the movie uh, or just in terms of credits. Uh, I will say too, this one has some special features on it, which Kino Lorber does a great job just listing in this area right here. This is an audio commentary by film critic Nick uh, Pinkerton, an interview with actor Reiner Schoen, archival interview with actress Heidi Brule, a vintage eight minute promotional reel, poster and image gallery, some TV spots uh, and uh, five radio spots as well as a trailer. So jam packed with uh, extra features. And I'll just remove the slip cover here and you can see the artwork is the same on the uh, Blu-ray. This is a Blu-ray and there's the back of that. So you still have the extra features listed here. And I did want to point out too that Many times, uh, Kino Lorber uh, will release, and this may be true for a lot of their uh, releases, but uh, here's the Blu-ray on the inside here, and you see the description and the extra features. But there is also a uh, uh, reversible uh, alternate cover for the movie, too. So if you decide to, you want to show this movie in another way, there's there's the artwork on the, on the front. I happen to like this... Um, uh, this primary artwork on the front here, just with Clint Eastwood and, uh, you know, a drawing of him. Um, I will say, though, 
this movie to me has a lot of the elements I really like. It's really a, uh, it's like a spy thriller. It's a mystery. It's a mountain climbing movie. I'm again, big fan of just mountain climbing in general. For some reason that interests me. And uh, so you really get it all in this. And it's quite a mystery even up until the very end of the movie. And so um, I, f I felt like watching this, this movie is um, 129 minutes. I felt like in the middle of this one this time, and of course I probably watched this on TV to begin with, there was a little long. Maybe they could have cut a little bit of it. But, uh, you know, for the most part, I really enjoyed it. And Clint Eastwood is great. Um, we were reading a little bit about this movie. My wife and I were reading a little bit about this movie. And uh, one of the things also that's interesting is that Clint Eastwood did uh, most of his own stunts, if not all of them. And of course, there's some dangerous, very dangerous mountain climbing sequences in this. Uh, very compelling, very interesting to watch. But uh, I was, as I was watching the movie, I was thinking about him going through all of the uh, you know, the, the training that he must have had to do for this movie and the preparation and everything. Um, this movie also is, uh, I just wanted to confirm, but it also directed by Clint Eastwood too. So uh, Clint Eastwood, heavy involvement in this movie and probably one of the first movies outside of maybe the Dirty Harry movies that I saw with Clint Eastwood. So let me know in the comments below too if you have a favorite mountain climbing movie or a favorite Clint Eastwood movie perhaps. Uh, he did a lot of movies in the 70s, so I'm sure I'm going to be watching uh, something like The Outlaw Josie Wales probably and talking about that movie a little bit. Uh, but this is one of my favorites and certainly uh, an amazing release from Kino Lorber. I'll also leave the Kino Lorber website in the link below, but they're doing some great releases of 4Ks, Blu-rays, restorations, extra features, and things like that. So I really in, um, enjoy this movie. And Again, I can see now some of the connections that it has with other films that I enjoy. So many times I, f I find I'm also connecting with the director of photography in a lot of movies or the cinematographer, perhaps, uh, that, that is working with these directors and that, that you know, produce some amazing results. Uh, and so I'm seeing some commonality in that, and I'll talk about that perhaps in a future video. But this is the, uh, the one I've watched recently, but let me know in the comments below if you have a favorite 70s movie. Again, I'll, I'll list the link to the playlist for this. I've, I think this is my fifth video, and I'm, I'm sure I'll be doing these videos probably for a couple of months. There's so many great movies from the 70s, but uh, feel free to leave me a comment or a question below. I really appreciate uh, everyone watching the videos and commenting and leaving questions. That uh, I so appreciate that. So thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, click on like, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, maybe this is your first video, please consider subscribing. That would be awesome. Lots of great things coming up in 2023. So I sincerely hope that everyone is safe and well, and I'll talk to you soon.